the, the billiards area over here. You got sports area right here with TVs. You can actually get drinks right here. This is the billiards area. All of this section over here got TVs you can get drinks over here and you can actually have a server will come to you and you can get food this is the grand opening this is the very first day they're open the place is packed but you can still get around they have these kiosks over here it's called power up you come over to the power up area and you buy a card and that allows you to play any of the video games Basically, it's only one floor. This is not like the other Dave & Buster's that had several floors. This is only one floor. All you have is this gaming area that you're seeing right in front of me. In the back on the left where it says win, up on the wall. That's where you get your prizes. There's a bathroom over to the left. And that's it. Over to the right, there's two function rooms where you can have birthday parties, but it's just video games. This is this area in the middle here. This was all, it kind of feels like, kind of feels like um, you're at a casino. You could sit down and get drinks and have a server wait on you. All this all center area here. Or if you want to sit down and have dinner, over to the left is the eating area right there where you can wait in line and you can sit down and eat in the nice uh, restaurant area right there. You can see it says eat at Buster's. Eat at Buster's and the lady will take your uh, food with play and there's the uh, restaurant area right there. But it's a very simplistic place. I thought it would be a lot bigger than it is. There's the front door that, that we just walk in. Okay, and like I said, you turn right here, this middle section here is all just to sit and drink alcohol, and you can have a server bring you some food if you'd like. The menu basically consisted of stuff that you would get at TGI Fridays. I just went through it. I might be able to put the pictures up in this video for you, but basically it's kind of, you know, ribs, cheese fries, lots of burgers, that kind of thing. You're familiar with it. These video games, though, are not your your mom and dad's 80s video games. These are next level. These are the bomb. They're exciting. They're exactly what you want to see. You can get a load of this, you know, what you're dealing with here. I mean, look at this. Connect 4 is out of control. Out of control. Walking Dead over here. Got, you got all kinds of stuff here. But all there is is just video games. It's kind of like an adult Chuck E. Cheese. The kids can win prizes. They can win, you know, probably cards or whatever out of the machines. And then they can take it over and collect their prizes. As you can see, you got the basketball games. Look at this. They have Big Wheel of Fortune. Isn't this fun? Big Wheel of Fortune. Uh, it reminds you of uh, Price is Right. There's an Angry Birds machine. Over there is one of the function rooms. Those are for, actually, they look more like conference rooms. Oh, there's a service doggy. I'm gonna take you over here and let you peek in here if you can see. Actually, is it open? Oh, it's open. There you go. Yeah, this is this is one of the rooms right here. This is a, uh, it's kind of got a conference room feel. You could actually use this for business partners. I mean, you would think it's like a birthday party room, but it's kind of got a conference room feel, you know? This would be absolutely great for uh, business partners to rent it out. There's even, you know, uh, a speaker. Someone could 
do speaking or something right here. Right here is a podium there they got for you. And the other room has uh, got a very also adult feel to it. So, I mean, although you could use it for the kids, look at these ginormous spin and win. That's amazing. They all have a little bit of a gamble feel to them. The original ones in Philly used to have gambling and stuff. But this, again, this is, this is the other function room which again has a very, um, you could sit down and have a class in here or something like that, or a speaker or something like that, but it's got a very conference -y feel to it. I wanted to show you the Pac-Man game too, and I'll show you the area where you collect the prizes and then that'll be it, just a couple more minutes. But again, this is the grand opening. Get a load of this Pac-Man. Isn't that great? If you're old like me, you can definitely appreciate this. That's a big old, big old Pac-Man game. That's the bomb. I love it. That's just awesome right there. I really enjoy that. That's a lot of fun. But uh, I'm going to take you over now and show you this area where the kids win prizes. And then uh, we'll kind of walk back out, and that'll be it. I'll show you the front of the place. Here's some hockey tables here. That's always fun. You got some motorcycle games. I mean, you're kind of familiar with this stuff. You know, here's an awesome hockey table. That's a four-player four player hockey table. You got shooting games over there. Here's a zombie snatcher, but there's the hockey tables there. They're really nice hockey tables. Here's the area where you collect prizes. Only the biggest prize area you've ever seen before. <laughs> it might as well be a prize store. Uh, you know, a prize store. And again, it has a gambling. You know, these look like almost like poker machines. They don't have gambling, but in a way, you do win the prizes. So, the original Dave and Buster's in Philly back in you know 15 years ago, they actually had gambling in there. They actually had card games and whatnot. So, I think they kind of tried to keep that feel a little bit. I'm seeing a ton of a very gambleistic games. Here's another one right here that looks just like you're down at the casino. Or, I mean, not casino, but on the boardwalk. I think everybody's familiar with those. But what you're going to do is you're going to win, uh, probably going to win the tokens or the power-up money. You know, there it says chips right there, yeah. So, you know, you get your power-up. You can also get deals with the power-up with, um, with your food. You, they give you deals in the menu that once you order... Uh, once you order the uh, food, you can get a deal of tokens or whatever with your food. You know what I mean? So they give you a discount of a couple dollars or something like that. The food was all about $15. Um, everything was ranged right at about 15 It wasn't too bad. Nothing went really over $20. But that's about it. I mean, I'm going to show you again, and I want to show you the front door. But over to the right is the eating area. Right here in the middle is the uh, right here in the middle is the drinks and whatnot, uh, where the people are just uh, basically drinking alcohol, and you can have a server wait on you. Over to the left is the billiards area and more TVs. And then on the other side of this was all the video games where the kids hang out and play while mom and dad are sitting here having a drink. But that's it. That's all there is. It's actually not that big. Um, but it's a good size. It's got a big feel to it. And then here is the front here. You can actually get your power up. Uh, this is the front entrance area. And it's raining out. We got Myrtle Beach, but this is what it looks like out the front door here. This is Broadway. This is Dave and Buster's right in Broadway. This is the front door here. Um, you have the whole, this is the whole restaurant shop area. I forget what they call this again, but it, uh, but there's an outside seating area right there too. That's for Dave and Buster as well. That's part of the restaurant. Eat, drink, and play, it says right there. And then you got this big TV right there. 
up top it says Dave and Buster's and that's pretty awesome guys that's grand opening stuff right there that's the first uh, that's the first day Dave and Buster's right here in Broadway at the beach I got the video for you guys I hope you enjoyed it that's everything it's not as big as I thought it's not fours it's kind of like an adult Chuck E. Cheese for kids the food prices were good, but I probably wouldn't eat dinner here. They have We have way better restaurants to sit down and eat. Um, there's just, I mean, there are great restaurants here in Broadway at the beach. This would be good if you just want to have some drinks um, while the kids are playing games. And maybe order yourself a small sandwich or fries if one of these is hungry um, and can't wait. So that would work out well. But I, I don't know if I would definitely do the dinner. Unless you're just definitely the kind of person who loves sandwiches and fries and stuff like that. Or you want to have a big lunch and then eat later you could do that but you can sit outside it's usually sunny here in Myrtle Beach but that's it it's got the Dave and Buster's look which is the brick it's always got that warehouse look it's just a big uh, big room like I said you got the drinks you got billiards and you got lots of video games with the restaurant the restaurant to me is kind of a little bit uh, you know not that necessary because we do have great restaurants here in Broadway so um, you can also see I got a part one I just put up of Broadway and I'm gonna be doing a part two of of the other aisle and the other restaurants here in another day or two but this is the um, I forget what they call this little section right here they have a name for this little section right here in uh, in Broadway where they all these uh, they kind of it's kind of where they let the uh, drinking area happen in the party area you know hard rock uh, is right there you can see the guitar so all right guys I hope you enjoyed that I got you uh, Dave and Buster's on the grand opening there it is we're standing right in front of it it's got great looking food the prices are awesome considering the kind of food it is I mean you got cheese fries and everything like that uh, bacon fries kind of had a TJI Fridays type of menu but um, you know it was uh, it was really awesome so the prices seem fine the video games are next level you know the new generation kind of stuff you can't go wrong and um, you know the uh, and you can have some alcohol while the kids are being entertained which you know there's not a lot of places to do that here um, you know which works out great because we have um, bars and whatnot but the kids don't have anything to do so this kind of kills two birds with one stone you can grab some drinks and maybe even a bite to eat um, while the kids are playing so that's it guys I uh, hope you enjoyed it Dave and Buster's right here at Broadway at the beach if there's any other videos you want me to um, if there's any other videos you want me to record here in Myrtle Beach just let me know please subscribe uh, and you'll get to see more videos of Myrtle Beach and uh, we do have a share and win right now my wife is sending out free Myrtle Beach t-shirts to uh, to the uh, tenth share so if you share it on Facebook if you're the tenth person you get a free t-shirt a Myrtle Beach t-shirt from one of the t-shirt shops here so um, but thank you subscribe if you want to see more Myrtle Beach videos I just upload um, like these new restaurants and stuff like that and lots of hotels if there's any hotel that you want just let me know but this is Dave and Buster's I hope you enjoyed it it's pretty awesome it's gonna be a great staple here uh, for, for for Myrtle Beach so it's definitely here to stay that's for sure uh, thanks a lot guys there it is Dave and Busters see you later well, folks, Bye -bye. it's Beach. time to kick it old school